Hello everyone. Today I want to do OSPF route summarization and OSPF route filtering example. But before we continue, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel with notification bell on and please show your support by hitting like button. So let's do it. So this is network which I'm going to use for today's example. I already configured IP addresses on all devices and I already configured OSPF with area 0, area 2 and area 1. We have three routers. We have also two layer 3 switches, SW11, SW22. We have three loopback interfaces on one switch and seven loopback interfaces on uh, second uh, switch. I also configured NAT on R1 to have uh, access to internet from all devices and um, default route on R1 pointing outside and advertise this default route in the OSPF domain. First I'm going to do route summarization. I'm going to summarize these three subnets and these three subnets for these loopback interfaces into two summary routes. And then I'm going to do OSPF route filtering with summarization and filter these three so this uh, summary route for first three uh, subnets and then I'm going to do area OSPF area filter filtering and filter uh, these three subnets and then I'm going to do um, OSPF local OSPF filtering um, and uh, I'm going to remove this summarization and filter for this four subnets and filter uh, this only one subnet on router R1. So let's do it. So this is our network for today's example. I described it uh, pre in the previous slide. Everything configured, all IP addresses, OSPF. We can just verify and start configuration. Let's verify. So we have IP address here and let's try to ping. And as you can see, we can ping uh, internet. So we have connectivity from our host through layer 3 switch, through router R3, R1 and outside. Let's do verification on SW11 switch, show IP interface brief. We have loopback interfaces, we have interfaces, so IP route OSPF. And we have routes to all our subnets everything is good let's go to r3 ips are there show ip route ospf and we have all subnets all loopbacks and let's check our one here we have also all subnets in the routing table, so IP interface brief. We have IP address received from DHCP server and section router OSPF. We have default um, advertisement of default route on this router and um, we have not configured and this is default route and let's check last this lw22 layer 3 switch show interface loopback interfaces and show ip route ospf and again we have all our subnets so let's do configuration first i'm going to do configuration or uh, I'm, do, I'm going to do summary. I'm going to summarize these subnets on loop, loopback interfaces for loopback interfaces into two summary routes. First one, these three, and the second one, these four. So how do we do summarization? Let's see. So we have three subnets, and we need to calculate summary route with a network uh, mask for these three subnets. First we need to do a binary representation for these subnets. 
so we got binary representation and then we need to we need to find the uh, how long is the matching part of these three subnets so this is our matching part this is gonna be this is our matching part and we put it as the our summary route and this part we just put zeros so this two bits they are not matching we also put them but we add only zeros instead of the numbers then we calculate decimal part for this and it's going to be 10 to 2, 2, 0, 0. and we need to calculate how many bits are matching 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 so 22 is going to be our mask and then we are getting this summary route let's do second example we have now we have four subnets we do binary representation and then we count um, then we check all matching bits and these are these matching bits and this part we move to our summary uh, subnet a summary route summary subnet and the remaining part we just put only zeros then we do decimal representation and we find that is 10 2 2 2 4 0 and then we need to find a network mask and we need to count again all these bits and it's gonna be again 22 so we get getting route summary or summary route 10 2 2 2 4 0 slash 22 so now we can configure but we need to configure a summary route or summarization on abr r2 is abr which has interface in area 0 and area 2 so we need to do summarization on abr let's do uh, let's go to abr uh, abr r2 and then we need to do this summarization under rotor ospf configuration mode rotor ospf 100 and then we need to enter this command area 2 because we are summarizing routes for area 2 range and then we need to enter our summary routes to the two summary subnets summary routes 222002552555 and uh, subnet mask or network mask 22 is the last 252 and the second one is with 4 here so we did summarization let's verify on r3 so we had this one two three four five six seven subnets uh, routes in our routing table and now we have only two our summary routes or uh, which we did summarization so this was summarization uh, route summarization and now i want to filter i want to do filtering first type of ospf route filtering is OSPF route filtering with summarization. So I'm going to filter this summary route. I just need to use the same command, but I need to end, add the keyword not advertise. Not advertise. And let's go to R3 and verify that this summary route should be missing in a routing table. Show IP OSPF route. I'm sorry, show IP route OSPF. And as you can see, summary route 10 to the 2 0 0 disappeared. It was, but now there is no. That was OSPF route filter and with summarization. And the next one, which we're gonna do, is area filtering. For area filtering, I want to I want to filter these three subnets. Uh, for example, I can see them here. Show IP route OSPF. Here, these three routes. 
on uh, router ABR, which is R3. So I'm going to um, filter them on R3. And I'm going to do it while they enter in or when they enter in area zero. This is our area zero. Conf T. For that, we need to configure a prefix list first and IP prefix list. Then we need to use name filter and then we use deny option and then we need to specify what we're going to deny. This is 111 111 and then 0 0 and subnet mask need to specify in this format and subnet mask is 22 like this and then we need to allow everything remaining ip prefix list filter permit 0 0 0 0 like this so we uh, denying these subnets and we permitting everything remaining and then we need to apply it into we need to apply it to ospf in the uh, router ospf configuration mode and this is done with this command area zero so we're gonna do it when it enters area zero then we use keyword filter list filter list then we need to specify keyword prefix then name of our filter prefix list filter and then we have option in or out i said as i said we're gonna use um filtering when entering into area zero so we're gonna use in let's go and see on router r1 as you can see we don't have these routes anymore. So this was uh, area filtering, OSPF area filtering. And the last one which we can do is local OSPF filtering. For local OSPF filtering, we can filter routes on any router inside area. So for this, we're going to do, I'm going to remove uh, this summarization I'm going to remove and I will get uh, routes conf t um, router ospf 100 so we're gonna do now and this one and then we should have them here now so we we got these routes and I'm going to filter this route from routing table on R1. That we're gonna do with distribute a list. For distribute list, we need to create first access list, IP access list, standard OSPF filter. And as you can see, even though we have them uh, with subnet 24, network mask 24, but OSPF advertised them with network mask 32. So we need to deny 10.222 for 1 and um, wildcard bits we need to use we actually we are gonna use just this command like for host and then we need to permit anything permit any so this is our access list which we're gonna use in distribute list into in the router ospf configuration mode and then we use this command distribute a list OSPF filter and then we need to specify option in so it will filter it from entering into routing table show IP route 
and as you can see we don't have this route in routing table anymore 10 2, 2, 2, 5, 1. Uh, but we had four now we don't have it but we should have them still on other routers in the in the ospf domain as you can see we have it here because it just filters it from entering into routing information base into routing table the ospf database But we still have type 3 LSA for this um, for this subnet. We have it in LSDP. So that uh, was example for OSPF road summarization, OSPF sum, uh, road filtering with summarization, OSPF uh, area filtering, and OSPF local OSPF filtering. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on and show your support by hitting like button. I hope to see you soon in my next videos. But for now, just goodbye and see you soon.